I think we're coming up on a pretty unique time to be in our industry as lawn maintenance and landscaping contractors. See, I've talked to several hundred contractors over the last month or so all over the United States. I've been calling around, doing my research anonymously. I've asked these contractors what it's been like for them recently. And I've even talked to contractors that are really good friends of mine right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. One of the most thriving economies in the nation right now. Work is becoming more scarce. Things are slowing down. It is not coming in as fast as it was. And that means the amount of profitable work out there is decreasing. What happens in turn? Contractors start to compete. They start to compete with their prices, bonuses, or extras that they offer to their customers to gain jobs. Why do they do this? One reason I found is because they spent the last couple of years growing and doing all they can to kind of be greedy and gobble up as much market share as they possibly could. So what do we do to combat this to keep profits and margins where we like them high during these kind of times? The best way that I've found, and I've been doing this quite a long time, not as long as some, but much longer than most. And the one thing that is tried and true is to get that business skinny, get it lean, get it operating on its core essentials. The least amount of overhead possible the least amount of reliance on employees possible. Why do I say this? I say this because if you can get skinny and lean and operate at the very smallest amount of overhead possible, then you can find those high profit jobs and you don't need as many of them to still achieve the same numbers. See, it's a game. It's keep the size of your company here and decrease your margins, your prices, or give more stuff away to compete for the market share that's already in place. Because the market share is not expanding in times like these. It's constricting and we're competing there's the same amount of businesses competing in this ocean or this pond that is your service area. But there's less and less clients to go around and even fewer clients willing to pay for quality. They're looking for cost conscious spending. If you're lean, you don't need to focus on getting this type of work. If you're lean, you can focus on getting profitable work. Looking at a ton of work, it's gonna cost you time, but you don't need to get as much of that work. You don't need to get half of the stuff you look at. You don't need to get 40%, 70% of the work you look at. You can get more like 10% at your same numbers or even greater. We haven't increased our price over the last year, but we've been able to maintain the price increases that we've done over the last two years, three years consistently raised our prices to combat inflation and also just give ourselves that raise each year. Now we're maintaining, we're leaning out even still but we're maintaining our high profits and we're doing it through less work. So we're actually working less and keeping our numbers the same. 
So in a way, we're riding the wave opposite of other contractors. While other contractors are going down into this whirlpool of competition and cutthroat, we're networking, we're sharing, we're helping, we're letting jobs go that don't fit us. And we're only taking on the work that we enjoy and that we want to do. And that pays us well. And the customers that value our time and the service that we're providing them. We understand it's a give on both sides kind of equation. The client gives us work, we give them a service. We don't want to work for clients for nothing that don't appreciate us, that think then they're doing us a favor by letting us do the work for them. Now's the time to really get down to the core essentials of your business. Eliminate the fluff before it gets really bad. Eliminate that guy that you've been wanting to fire for a while that just takes advantage of you and shows up, but he's helpful one or two days a week. Get rid of his ass. Keep the people that are there for you. Keep the trucks that are working for you. Keep the equipment that's moving. If it's moving a couple times a week, it's probably worth keeping. If it's moving a couple times a month, liquidate that asset. Get it out of there. Now there's systems to how you can do this effectively. But the gist of the matter is, is you want to focus on building your wealth, even through slow times. Slow times can be the greatest wealth building opportunities. That's what needs to be our focus during these times. We don't want to generate massive amounts of revenue and keep very little of it. It's stress and overwhelm. Generate profits with as little revenue as possible. Keep as much of that revenue, in turn profits, as possible. By doing this, you have made more money with less work, less stress, less overwhelm, less overhead, and you're taking care of less people better. It's a recipe for happiness. These times are given to us so that way we can get back to square one if we don't fight it too hard. Okay? Take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm worried about a ton of contractors out there that are just going to ex experience the pressures. This is when this is the time when when contractors that that were operating at the brink of disaster all through the last couple of years thinking that they're going to find this rainbow or pot of gold on the other end of this stress and overwhelm. They're going to be the ones I'm sorry to say it, that get pinched out. And then when the next market cycle happens, whether that be six months from now, a year from now, three years from now, the contractors who made it, typically one in every 10, statistically speaking, will make it through rough patches. Rough patches longer than 30 to 45 days will start to squeeze out half talk about a year's time, a rough economy, not even an economic downturn, not even a recession, a rough economy for a year will squeeze out 90% of contractors. That's just statistically speaking. One in 10 businesses will survive. They pop up all over the place. Everybody's doing good when money's flowing. There's a lot of talk about cash flow being your friend. Sure, cash flow is your friend. But if you're not keeping any of that cash flow, if your margins are very misskewed, and you're working off of trying to keep 10 or 
profits to operate on. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I hate to be the bearer of bad news for some of the people watching us. I don't want to be a negative Nancy. I want, my message is just to help. Get lean, focus on profits, focus on self-development, focus on buying assets at low cost, high value. Get rid of your high value assets that you're not using and turn that into liquid. That way you can buy other high value assets that will increase even further than what you what you're selling. Now's the time. Now's the time to get lean. Now's the time to focus on profits. Now's the time to build that foundation in your business. Let me know in the comments, like, subscribe. If you think I've got a little something going here, let me know. If you disagree with me completely, let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'm open-minded. I want to hear from everybody. Like I said, I've called several hundred contractors over the last month or so, just doing my own market research. That in and of itself can be valuable to you. If you don't trust what I say, call. Google landscape contractor, this city. Landscape contractors, this city. Do it all over the United States. If uh, you come up with something different than I did, let me know. But the general consensus is work is slowing down. People are trying to hang on to that growth that they've had because they feel so passionately about it. They spent the last couple of years trying to grow their business and heaven forbid they're going to let it go fucking backwards now. You know what I mean? They're fighting. They're fighting the waves. They're paddling against the current. It's okay to fluctuate your growth. It's healthy. If you don't need the growth, shed it. If you need the, the mass to operate, figure out where you don't need mass at. Lean that portion of your business out. Start to remove low margin services. Keep the high profitability stuff. My recommendation, just a strategy that I recommend in my courses and coaching sessions is three services. Three of your most valuable services. Focus on those. Focus all of your energy on those and keeping your prices high. I think that's going to be what helps people. There's a ton of other strategies that I could recommend, but the biggest thing right now is going to be making sure that you're still as profitable as you were while reducing the stress and overwhelm that comes with trying to operate a massive business or a growing business. Now's our time to take a couple breaths. Get back to square one. Relax. Spend a little bit more time at home. Don't focus on revenues. Focus on profits. And when you see the opportunity to buy valuable assets at reduced cost, do it. Invest, diversify, hedge against the downside, focus on profits. I'm out.